The nine and five Miami Dolphins travel to Vegas to play the seven and seven Las Vegas Raiders. Look at the Raiders this year. They started off at six and three, but they've lost their last four. They haven't been playing that well. Tua Tungavailoa, I just love this kid, the way that he plays. His accuracy, his toughness, whatever it takes to win a game, he'll find a way to win it, whether it's running it in on the goal line, running for a first down, or throwing it. And when he throws the football, he's got a great tight end to throw to. He's very accurate getting there. You look at the talent on offense. They don't have a big-time wide receiver. They don't have a big-time running back, but they find a way to get it done. And going into this game, I like the way that they're playing on both sides of the ball. I don't think Vegas is going to play that well. For some reason, John Gruden just can't get his teams to play well in December, no matter where he coaches, whether it be Oakland the first time around or Tampa Bay or with the Las Vegas Raiders. So I'm going with small ball here. I think that Miami's going to end up winning this game. I don't think it's going to be that close. Miami's a three-point favorite in this game. I think Miami's going to carry on and win this game. It's going to be an ugly one, but Miami's going to win this game 24-14. to 14. The Dolphins had a tremendous year, and you have to give two an awful lot of credit. They don't have a big-time runner, big-time receiver, as you mentioned, Mark. But let's go back to those three areas. The Dolphins are plus 25. They're plus 10 in turnover, plus 7 in the last play, plus 8 in penalties. On the other hand, the Raiders are plus 9. Most of that came earlier in the year. Right now, they're minus 6 in turnovers. Uh, they're plus 8 in lost yardage plays and plus 8 in penalties, which gives them a total of plus 9. But the defense in the kicking game has scored three times for Miami, where the Raiders have not scored on defense or special teams, but they've given up three times. I love Carr. I think he's having a great year. But the fact that Miami does have big play people, but they can't run the football either, but they excel in those areas that cause you to win or lose. Consequently, Miami prevailed 27-24. to 24.